Welcome back. For many of us, the milk bar was a big part of our childhood. You'd call in on the way home from school and buy a drink or a handful of lollies for the rest of the walk. For mum and dad, it was emergency milk and bread. But shopping has changed and the milk bar is under threat. Depending on where you live in Australia, we know them as the corner store, the milk bar or the deli. They're um, very convenient to the locals. For much of last century, they were the place where families would come for milk, bread, the paper and a friendly chat. It's the personal touch, basically. It's, um, you know, just to say hello, hun, and how are you? I love Eamon and there. I remember them well. It was all yeah. about lollies, it the corner store, was it? It really was. Cobbers. Cobbers, mates, chicos. Ah, oh, jelly beans. Yeah. Bananas, mint leaves. <laughs> Would you like a snake or a frog? Oh, yeah. They were like an Aladdin's cave of sugar, where a child spent their first bit of pocket money, independent of mum or dad. Going down to the corner, having a pocket full of one and two cent coins jingling away. Imagine getting a hundred lollies for a dollar. You know, one cent each. They were the days. You know, and <laughs> picking out each little one, yeah. you know, taking forever. No well, one used tongs either. They, no, they just no. pick them up with their fingers, <laughs> yeah, didn't yeah, they? <laughs> but look around your streets now. Have you noticed something? Tragic. Yeah. Uh, it's tragic. The times, they are a-changing. It happened to the local hardware store gobbled up by the big chains. Same thing happened to the stationery shop. Now, the corner store sits empty, rusting away in the community they once proudly served. And Eamon Donnelly thinks this slice of suburban history should not be forgotten. Supermarket chains coming into the suburbs. Yes, the explosion of supermarkets, home delivery services, and petrol stations that don't just sell petrol anymore. They've all had a hand in the demise of the humble corner store. Oh, That's and right. one more and thing. Even the introduction of flavoured milks in the 70s. Yeah, when was the last time you ordered a milkshake? John uh, rarely yeah, uses shopping. his yeah, local. Yeah, you get milk, bread, that's about it, really. Yeah. Newspaper, you use your phone these days, so... Tony, how long has this store been in the family for? Uh, 40 years now. Tony and his family have been operating their corner store through the generations, loaded with every emergency item you forgot to get at the supermarket. Is there still a dollar in it? Oh, uh, it's very hard to make a dollar. Yeah. This... Much harder than it used to be. Yeah. You've got Aldi, you've got Coles, you've got Woolworths. I mean, you look up there and the items might cost a little bit more than you find it down at the supermarket. But gee, it was convenient, wasn't it? It sure was. If you could just duck down the corner, yeah, rather true. than driving all the way to the supermarket. Yeah. Eamon's gone around the country, recording the domestic street history of those stores that have gone and those that still survive, for his coffee table book. That's it there. That was your local. Yeah. And here's your Lisa's Little River Corner Store near Geelong with its community spirit is hanging in there. When you go into the big boys, you know, yeah. it's it's all about making a profit. They don't yeah. care about you or, yeah. you know, what you want or yes. what you would like or, yeah. you know, they, they can, can barely say hello to you when you go to the cash registers. When I went back to my local... Yes, I used to is. live in that green-roofed house over there. That's amazing. And when this was a quarter store, and I would come over here all the time. That's great. It'd be lovely to come over and have a cappuccino. <laughs> yes, a really nice yeah. one. I found it too had closed its doors, but Palo plans to reinvent it into a community That's, coffee shop. This is a perfect location because I would really love to be involved with the neighbourhood. They were once everywhere. Back in the day, they're not anymore. Uh, one of the, well, you're lucky, you've got one of the last ones left. Yeah, but with owners like Lisa, we may just hold on to a few of them yet. And as soon as somebody walks in the door, everybody's special in here, especially the children. I well, the you, children. why wouldn't they be? You've catered for them with every lolly known to man. 